everyone, hope you're all doing well. Welcome to our week four of the exercise program. Um, all you need today is a chair and a weight and a yoga mat. Um, what we'll do is we'll just start off with a 90 second warm up and then progress into the strengthening work. So remember that each exercise goes for one minute and you'll repeat the circuit three times through. In the video, we're only gonna demonstrate one set, so just remember to pause the video after I've demonstrated the exercise and then you'll continue on doing another two sets. Okay, so let's get started. So we'll start off with some marching, okay? So just starting with marching on the spot. Now, if you wish, you can progress this to um, fast high knees, okay? So just like running on the spot. So we'll go for 90 seconds. Time goes so slow. <laughs> 90 seconds is a long time. Okay, so we're 20 seconds in. And we've got one minute to go. We need some cool music, don't we? Yeah. yeah. We've got 20 seconds to go. <laughs> Almost there. Oh, I'm getting so out of breath. <laughs> 10 seconds. And we are done. <sighs> well done, guys. So that was the warm up done. Um, let's move on to the um, strength component um, of the exercises. So we're going to um, pick up our small weight and we're going to start with some squats. So you'll need your chair for this one as well. So you want to stand in front of your chair about shoulder width apart, holding the weight um, in front of your chest. Okay, Try and keep it nice and close to your body. And you're going to squat down towards the chair, but don't quite touch it and then standing back up. So sticking the bottom out, keeping the chest nice and tall and standing back up. So we'll go for a full minute here. So as you're squatting down, thinking about driving through the heels to get the glutes working. And we've got 30 seconds to go. seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one. Well done. So that's the squats done. We're going to move on to calf raises now. So try and find a space on the wall to hold on to and you're going to rise up and down onto the toes and we'll go for a full minute here. Now you can progress to a single leg calf raise if, if you wish. Um, just remember to do both sides. So what you can do is 30 seconds on each leg and then repeating that three times through. And we've got 30 seconds to go. seconds left and five four three two one all right calf raises done 
We're going to get onto our hands and knees now. So coming into a four point kneeling position to start off with, um, we're going in to do uh, some mountain climbers. So what you'll do is you'll start in a plank position. So wrists underneath shoulders, body nice and straight. And you're just gonna bring one knee towards the chest, okay? And alternating each leg. You can go as quick or as slow as you like. And we'll go for a full minute. Oh, this is so hard. It's hard to check the time and do this at the same time. And 30 seconds to go. And 20 seconds. Five seconds. And well done. All right, onto your dummies now. So we're gonna do some um, back extension work, okay? Just to take a little bit of the load off the core and start working through upper back. So what you're going to do is make a triangle with your hands, place that triangle onto the mat and then place your forehead into the triangle. From here, squeezing the legs together, you're going to lift your head and chest but keep the arms where they are. So as you're lifting head and chest, think about drawing the shoulder blades down towards the hips. And 30 seconds to go. And five seconds. And last one there, well done. Alrighty, so coming into standing now, we're going to bring the focus to our shoulders now. So we're going to do some single arm wall push-ups now. So find yourself a space on the wall and you're going to place one hand onto the wall. And standing with your feet about shoulder width apart so you've got a nice space of support there, okay? And what you're going to do is you're going to bend the arm and bring the chest towards the wall and then push away from there. Try and keep your shoulders aligned so you don't want to be twisting as you uh, do your wall push up. And we'll go for a full minute here. So remember that because we're doing um, a single arm wall push up, we need to be doing both sides. So what you can do is we can do 30 seconds on each arm, okay, and then repeating the circuit three times through. And 15 seconds to go. to kneel up onto the chair, okay, and keeping the other leg nice and straight, tall through the chest, bottom sticking out, 
and just rowing up and down. As you're rowing, think about drawing the shoulder blades back. So same thing with this exercise, we'll go 30 seconds on each arm because we're doing um, a single arm activity. So we'll swap sides. So as you can see, I've made a fist with my other hand. Um, it's, a, it's a slightly nicer position for the wrist, um, but feel free to keep the palm nice and flat if you wish to as well. And we've got five seconds to go. And last one there. Well done. All right, so that's all the strength work um, for today. What we'll do now is we'll just finish off with a couple of stretches, okay? So we'll start with our legs and then move our way to the shoulders. So for the first stretch is for the hamstrings. So you're gonna pop one leg up onto the chair and folding forward over the leg. Remember to keep the toes pointing forward. So you'll hold this stretch for 30 seconds and repeat it three times on each leg. So that's the first one. Your next stretch is going to be a quadriceps stretch, okay? So you're going to bring the heel to the bottom, grab hold of your foot, keeping your knees together, push the hips forward. Same thing again, holding 30 seconds and repeating three times on each leg. All right, last stretch for the lower limb is a calf stretch. So putting one foot in front of the other, toes pointing forward, bending that front knee. Holding 30 seconds and repeat three times through. All right, moving on to shoulder stretches. Okay, the first one we're going to do is a cross body um, stretch for the back of the shoulder. So you just bring one arm across the body and stretching from there. So you should feel the stretch through the back of the shoulder there. Holding for about 30 seconds, repeating three times through. And then the next shoulder stretch is for the tricep muscle. So you bring one arm over the top of the head, hand onto the elbow and pressing down from there. And you should feel the stretch through the back of the arm there. So holding 30 seconds and repeating three times through. And the last stretch for today is a pectoralis stretch. So you'll need a doorway with um, two frames to do this stretch. So you put two hands up onto the door frame, so one on each frame, okay? From there, you're going to step forward with one leg and then push forward with the chest. So you can change the angle of which your hands are on, but ideally you wanna try and you know, position your hands in a certain way that you feel the stretch through the front of the chest, okay? So ideally the best spot is in a 90-90 um, position, okay? but you may need to lift the hands up a little bit more or you may need to lower them down, depending on where you feel this, um, the most intense stretch. So holding that one for 30 seconds again and repeating three times through. All right, so that concludes um, week four of their exercise program. Uh, stay tuned for week five.